Hello everyone, welcome to today's session. Today, we will be introduced to the types of the numerical problems based on memory interfacing that are generally asked in various competitive examinations. Clearly, having only the lucid theoretical conceptions are not enough. In order to concrete that knowledge foundation, we essentially need hands-on experience in the applications too. So, let's get to learning. Let's begin with the question number one. A cache memory needs an access time of 30 nanoseconds and main memory 150 nanoseconds. What is the average access time of the CPU, assuming heat ratio is 80%? Now there are two possible solutions to this question. We will see them one by one. First approach, assume both the cache and the main memory are simultaneously connected to the processor. The question states that the access time of cache, that is T cache, is 30 nanoseconds. Also, TMM or the access time of the main memory is 150 nanoseconds. Now, this is a believable information. As the main memory is way bigger in size than the cache, also due to its different organization, the access time is bound to be greater than the cache. Now, coming to the hit ratio, it's already been mentioned in the question itself, 80%. That is 0 0.8. Now let's find out the average access time usually termed as T average for this specific organization. H cache is the possibility of finding the required word inside the cache and T cache indicates the access time. Now considering the chances of not finding the word inside the cache that is 1 minus H cache that is the miss ratio of the cache we will look for the word inside the main memory and TMM is the access time of the main memory. Substituting the values 0 0.8 into 30 plus 1 minus 0 0.8 into 150 and the unit remains the same, nanoseconds, which equates to 24 plus 0 0.2 into 150, which finally produces the result as 54 nanoseconds. Now coming to the next approach, I presume you already guessed it. Indeed, we are talking about the level-wise organization. And the only difference in this is the way we calculate the average memory access time. Here, in case of a miss, the access time of the previous level is also considered due to the organization. So substituting the values, 0 0.8 into 30 plus 1 minus 0 0.8, but instead of considering the access time of the main memory only, we are to consider the T cache as well, because not being able to find the needed word inside the cache, the processor opted for the main memory level-wise which finally results in 60 nanoseconds. Now this question was asked in ISTRO CS 2017 paper. And these were the options. Judging the options, we can say the second approach produces the correct answer the examiners were looking for. So option A, 60 is the correct choice for this question. Now you might be thinking having two ways of solving the same question is a bit of a confusing thing. But let me tell you, here you need to do smart work. Look for the options first and then answer. Moreover, if questions are asked like this one, generally they refer to the level-wise organization, unless mentioned otherwise. But worry not, there are questions which clearly mention the exact organization which should consider for problem solving. Let me read out the question number two. Assume that for a certain processor, a read request takes 50 nanoseconds on a cache miss and 5 nanoseconds on a cache hit. Suppose while running a program, it was observed that 80% of the processor read requests result in cache hit. We are to find out the average read access time that to in nanoseconds for this question. Now it was asked in GATE CS 2015 paper. And it's clearly talking about the level was organization. How is so? Let's consider the access times. A read request takes 50 nanoseconds during cache miss. That means total time to access both the cache and the main memory must be 50 nanoseconds. Because during cache hit, it's only taking 5 nanoseconds. Here, the question itself is specifying the organization to be considered. And regarding hit ratio, it's 80%, that is 0 0.8 similar to the previous one. Now let's figure out the average read access time or T average. Substituting the values, 0 0.8 into 5 plus 1 minus 0 0.8 into 50 nanoseconds. 
One more thing, during calculations, be a bit more careful. Don't overthink and just add 5 more to this 50. Here, 50 is T cache A plus T MM altogether. So finally, we will have the answer as 14 nanoseconds. Alright folks, that was all for this session. Remember, always be extra careful while solving the numerical problems, especially during examinations. So I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you all for watching.